Welcome everybody to episode six. Six uh, of Tipsy uh, Talks. Tipsy Talks. My name is Brilliant, and this is Ryoji. And with us yet again is Pika. Yeah. All right, let's just get right into this shit. <laughs> So, last week we brought you a story about how Sean Penn had uh, interviews with El Chapo to write a... And uh, apparently he decided that he was going to write an article. Which he says, has failed. In <laughs> great part due to the fact that El Chapo was caught. This is what he feels the failure was. What was the article on? I guess He's it was on his, there. you know, life or whatever. I don't even know. Why don't he just make a Netflix original? Right. <laughs> You could have signed a fucking six-year deal with Netflix, just like that uh, that show with uh, El Padrino. What's his name? Uh, what's that Colombian guy? You're talking about uh, what is it? I just watched it. Narcos. Yeah, with El no. El Padre. No, El, El Padrino. Padre. El Padre. No, um, not El. Pa- what's his name? Pablo Escobar. That's his name. <laughs> El Padre. That's what his nickname was. El Padrino? Yeah. Oh, I said El The Godfather. Obviously, he didn't watch the episodes. Yes, I well, he had like, all, that man had a I lot of nicknames. Episodes. It was like a whole season. So don't worry about it. There was <laughs> only a lot of nicknames. One season. And then there was the DA agent yeah. and all that. And good show, good show. <laughs> no, anyways, um, yeah. So I just wanted to quickly hit on that part. We're going to move on. Because this story got me laughing when I first originally read the fucking headline for it. So it says 911 operator missed an emergency call because she was ordering a pizza. So this 911 operator was apparently ordering lunch. Like when an emergency call came in. (laughs) Yes, on the job she was ordering. So apparently there's only one line to her. Like I guess there's only one line to these operators individually and she was taking up the line ordering pizza and ignoring an emergency call that was coming in. Did she get the pizza though? And what kind of pizza was <laughs> I'm that's pretty what sure I'm... she got and fired. What, what I'm pretty sure she doesn't have to Kansas. worry about the pizza. <laughs> Where she was got she ordering fired. the pizza from? That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> You know, it, Domino's Pizza Hut, Little Caesars. Um, I don't She's know. actually just ordering a Little I Caesars hot and ready. She'll be there in a moment to pick it up. She'll have, ordering a hot she'll and have ready. plenty of time to pick it up now. I would like to place an order for a hot and ready. Sir, it's already ready. <laughs> I'm placing the order anyways. You can't tell me. So Wait. apparently there's a recording of her like making the order instead of the recording of what should have been happening. You know, her taking down the emergency call. And it took her eight minutes to make this order. Was she placed on hold well, for like at average? least five Come of on, those what is minutes? The average? What's the average response? It was long time? enough, all it says here is it was long enough for the person who was frantically trying to call her to faint and no longer be able to make his emergency call. Well, what was the call about, first of all? I don't think that. they can give that information. Well, I want to know. I'm sorry. Well, it just says that uh, apparently after he fainted, he started convulsing and had a seizure. But, uh, oh. Yeah. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> this is exactly what this one lady's <laughs> fucking lunch order cost. Pretty sure she's fired. I still think the best part about that whole story, though, is just that headline. Just... Mrs. Emergency Call due to order. <laughs> Alright, uh. So, our next story. <laughs> yeah, I'm just jumping right into the next story. I don't know. What the fuck that. is wrong with you? <laughs> anyway, let's continue. I was wild because I started hearing the music because it got so quiet. <laughs> just stop getting quiet. No, um. That story reminded me of one I like saw on Pinterest, but it was like the complete opposite. Like, the lady had a, like an abusive boyfriend, and she called 911, and then <laughs> pretended to like order a pizza. She said her address, and then somehow the operator just like had a bad feeling, and she was like, "Are you in danger?" And she was like, "Yes." She was like, "Can you stay on the line?" No. And like, how long until my pizza short gets of, here? Short of the story, though. 
Did she get that pizza? <laughs> no officer showed up! Cliffhanger! <laughs> Did the officers Hash- bring pizza? Hashtag we'll never know. Uh, Alright, our next story is... The whole thing wasn't about the pizza! <laughs> it could have been. It was about domestic violence. What's the name? M. Night Shalaman? Or Shalaman? <laughs> Shyamalan? Shyamalan. Shyamalan. <laughs> he could have made a movie out of it. And in plot twist, it wasn't even a pizza he was ordering. <laughs> you can make a movie about anything. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue our story. Alright, moving on to our next story. Uh, a dentist accidentally exposes his penis to a nurse after accidentally showing her... A picture of it. <laughs> accidentally is the key word. <laughs> Can I get a couple more accidentally quotes on here? Well, I'm gonna First accidentally off, how do you take a drink accidentally real quick. show her a picture unless he's like, oh, let no, me okay, show so you a was... picture of my dog real quick. Oh, sorry, this that's, is exactly that's what my happened. penis. That's so legit. <laughs> sorry. Oh wait. What? Oh, oh my god, I dropped something on my face. Oh no, my zipper fell off, fell down. Oh no, my penis. No, okay, so let me tell you the fucking story. So legit, when he was showing this uh, person pictures on his phone of some sort of uh, procedure that he slip. was doing. Is what it was. He accidentally scrolled too far <laughs> and apparently there was a picture of his penis on his phone or device, whatever whatever the case may be. And this made him so there he of accidentally, of accidentally got it. Exactly. So there he accidentally showed her the penis the first time, right? I was falling. And whoops, there goes my penis. Right. And apparently he was going into an emergency room operation and he was in such a frantic hurry that he didn't like After mind who was in the room when he had to quickly change his scrubs to you know get ready for the emergency was he not wearing like boxers or briefs well, or anything i guess like, not maybe he's, he's uh, just you know going commando i've yeah. had i've had that fear sometimes going to work thinking i might have accidentally forget to put on clothes and accidentally show up to work naked no i'm not gonna lie the other day i was uh Walking around, and I was like going commando like I usually do, and I uh, noticed that there was a slight breeze, and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> let me take care of that real quick. See, but I was subtle about it. That's what this doctor was not. I can imagine him just going into a room full of people and just like ripping off his other pants. And just- <laughs> he is not a male yeah. stripper. Putting on his other <laughs> pants and like, okay, let's <laughs> let's do this. And so, like, did she report him? Because obviously this is in the news, so somebody had to tell somebody about so, it. So, yeah, obviously it was a little bit of a report, but since it was accidental, well, yeah. there's yeah. nothing really... Like, was it the same day? Like, within the same no, hour? It like It was a few a years picture. later. Oh, wow. So he showed the picture first, and then like a few years like later. Like she, she has to mention this like a few years later. Like he showed the picture accidentally a few years ago, and then was like, "Oh my god!" Then he showed me his penis. So basically, it went to like a review board, and they looked at the case, and they were like, "Okay, it was an accident. It wasn't intentional. He wasn't trying to arouse any feelings in her." And they were like, "Fuck it, dismiss this case." Uh, that's just weird. <laughs> interesting, interesting story. However, this other woman in our final story is accused of assaulting customers and then stripping naked in front of them. Wait, wait, hold on. And just by the image of wait, this wait, woman, wait, 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 I feel wait, wait, that wait, I'm already wait, being wait, assaulted. Cut. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, the what was the story? I like, missed it. So I am the, so the sorry. Story, the story is this woman was in a uh, Waffle House in Georgia. In Georgia. In Georgia. And she is accused of assaulting customers. And then she proceeded to go ahead and strip naked in front of them Cuckoo. to further assault their eye. Beat me, I said. Feed me. You know, because, you know, injury just wasn't enough. She had to add insult to it. So what did she do? Just, like, walk around, like, a I Waffle guess. House and, like, slap people? And well, then, like, you just looked at the picture. Because you know a story about that. So you just looked at the woman. We will put up a picture, Waffle, like, a lo- a right Many years there? ago, when I was in the Waffle House. <laughs> right I want you to go ahead and put it up. I was in a Waffle House over in right Georgia. There. I can I can contest that. No, <laughs> don't you dare put it over my face. That thing's hideous. Literally, <laughs> all people are beautiful, but this is 
this is not, not a woman. Oh, they're crazy. <laughs> it is a creature. Or Walmart people it at midnight. It's like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that, that's started. her right there. Walmart. I was hungry, midnight. And the only thing that was open was a Waffle House, and I remember seeing. I guess because that's when all, everybody like stops drinking and gets out of bars and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then they're hungry. Yeah, well, they got crazy apparently in Georgia at the Waffle Houses and they were all dancing on top because of Because we're all civilized over here It was literally like walking Coast. out to a music video. I was like, what the F is going on? People, people are twerking people, on tables. People like holding up full bottles. <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? So I just ate my food and left. <laughs> but I was like, wow. People are crazy. Yes, yes they are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to look at that, that over image there. will haunt my life forever. Calm down. We're going to have okay. nightmares. It's just a picture. It can't hurt you. Nightmares of that! <laughs> You're going to have to keep editing things in there, by the way. I'm going to accidentally edit it. <laughs> Alright, that was our final story. So, uh, good end. laughs that the we end. had on the that. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we laughing? Now? <laughs> drink to her choking. <laughs> All right, everybody, drink to that. See you guys next time. Wait a second, you gotta like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that too. All I right. could have sworn that you said you made a title card for this. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe in case I don't. Sean Penn was, was he like, you know, I've been secretly talking to El Chapo to. No, like, these were public was... interviews. Like public interviews. Hmm. You just said secret interviews. Okay, yes. yeah, if they're not very they secret, secret. If I know about them. Ha! Got him! I now know about the time, the time of the interview. Yeah, like at the time off. of the interview. Well, technically, did, you nothing know, is really secret if, you, if both parties know about it. Was there anybody <laughs> else involved that knew about it to try yeah, and get He was get probably like, oh no, I'm trying to have a secret interview with this Sean Penn, but if I tell him to have an interview, <laughs> then he'll know. They I'll all have to know. kill him.